Tornado forecast. We're joined once again by Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent, and uh, we're all smiles up here <laughs> it's because Friday. it's Friday it's and right. Clemson won, Gamecocks won. Yeah. Also, it looks, it looks pretty wins. nice overall. It yeah. does. It looks yeah. really good. Mississippi State won. Indiana won. All right. Says, <laughs> says two. <laughs> and only us. Sorry, sorry, JD. Do you have a team playing? Uh, Clemson, USC, ah, yes. Wofford. Awesome. No, Wofford, no, for Wofford's the home still teams. in it though. Wofford's so. still in it. Yeah. Yeah. No, we are we're we're excited. And at least we have some great weather for tomorrow evening's game. We do have a rain chance for Sunday, but uh, Coastal Carolina at Clemson. Uh, we're looking at temperatures in the 70s around the time that we'll be getting the game started at uh, five o'clock. A few clouds, but it, and it may have you worried it's going to rain, but the rain should hold off uh, until we get into the day on Sunday. Sunday afternoon, evening, we'll bring our best chance for a few showers and perhaps an isolated thunderstorm. Now, the main culprit for that increase in rain chances, you can see it here. Uh, we're going to go from very low humidity levels into Saturday evening to much higher levels. I mean, a huge jump on Saturday night. So it's going to feel pretty different compared to Saturday into Sunday uh, when it comes to that you know, real field temperature outside. But still very refreshing, lower humidity tomorrow, starting in the 50s. So you can tell there's not much humidity in the air when you get that cool in the morning. 68 by 10 a.m. In the afternoon, we're looking at right around 80 in the upstate and 76 for Asheville 72 in Hendersonville. If you're heading to the lake this weekend, it's the day after or a weekend after a holiday weekend is always a good one. You know, not not quite as crowded around there. Uh, there will be a chance for some showers Sunday, but Saturday's looking pretty good. So your next big thing is that rain chance. So as we go on future track, notice the clouds will be increasing on Saturday, but we should be dry. So we go there's five o'clock on Saturday uh, in Clemson. I think we're going to be completely dry up in the mountains, maybe a quick shower, but we're not going to have the main system all that close close to us and the moisture isn't going to return into the area until Sunday morning. There's 4 a.m. We're seeing a few spotty light showers. Not going to be hugely impactful to your morning. In the afternoon, still not huge impact, but we could have at least a couple of heavier downpours uh, into the middle part of the afternoon and later. So if you're taking the kids to the pool, just keep an eye out uh, for anything that pops up. But at this point, it does not look like we're going to see a lot of widespread rain. Into the evening, we could still have a few straggler showers there around 11 o'clock. Now, rain chances, just to give you perspective here, is this not going to be widespread. We have a chance from Sunday on through Wednesday, but right now, I don't expect your yard to get rain every single day. And chances are it could get missed a couple of times uh, in the next uh, few in the next few days. 30% chance of rain on Sunday, 30% Tuesday, Wednesday. And Tuesday and Wednesday, there'll be a little better chance of thunderstorms just because temperatures will start to warm up. We'll have a little more energy for those storms and then turns hotter toward late next week. But at least drier because we've got the BMW Pro-Am coming. Uh, we've got mountains with 40% chance of showers and storms Sunday and then continuing that rain chance Tuesday and Wednesday. Be sure to download the Fox Carolina First Alert weather app, scan the code, get our app, and that way we can send you forecast updates, connect with you better, and also it'll let you know when heavy rain or lightning is near your location. Really nice to have if you're hanging by the pool, not really paying attention to the weather, maybe uh, your phone can let you know. So scan that code and get it for free.